All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to start up year number eight with our Arizona Coyotes, our defending President's Trophy and defending Stanley Cup champion Arizona Coyote franchise. What year it was in year number seven, but I want to have a follow-up year. Year number eight, I want to make it just as good as year number seven. It's going to be tough just because a few of our veteran players have dropped off a little bit, Keith Yandel, Corey Perry, but I still have high hopes for the hopeful Arizona Coyotes, all right? So I want to get a good chunk of the simulating done in this video. The last video, we set it up. I have some comments and some fan art that I'm going to show you guys, but what we can do is we can actually start the simulation before uh, I show that, all right? So I've already gone ahead and edited the lines for this year's to start. We got Yakupov, Barzell, and Petrie. I'm going to put Yakupov on the left because Petrie is a natural right winger, and I want to get Barzell and Petrie playing first line minutes now. It's time to turn these guys into legitimate superstars, all right? Corey Perry and Anze Kopa are veterans, but they got a they got a man that second line for us alongside of Tyler Toffoli. So the top six still looks amazing this year, right? We should be able to score plenty of goals with those four snipers and two playmakers in the top six. Third line: Pierlini, Horvat, and Dylan Strom, Roussel, Zach Smith, and Lou Morris. So very similar than law. Well, it's actually the exact same team as the playoff run. Uh, defensemen: Ekman, Larson, Tyson, Barry, Keith Yandel. He was another guy that you guys were saying uh, keep an eye on. He's only got the three star now at 84 overall. Had some comments about him. I'll uh, I'll get into that in a second. We're starting the simulation with this team though, so there's no point in reading it right now. Uh, Zadorov, all right, with Keith Yandel and Ryan Pilon and Jesse Mills. Power play. All right, we're gonna go with Barzell, Petrie, and Yakupov. We're gonna keep the exact same lines. All right, Yandel and Pilon instead of uh, Zadorov. Door off. Pilon's got a very heavy shot, so I want him in there. Four man power play. Now, this is interesting. I went with Barzell Petrie, Ekman Larson Barry, Kopitar Perry, but I put Yakupov on the point because he's an 89 sniper. I wasn't able to get Tyler Toffoli in there. Yakupov, I figured, was the, uh, the better player. So I wanted to get Yakupov some four-on-four four or four-man power play time. So we'll see how that works out for us. Penalty kill, Horvat, Pierlini, Zach Smith, and Lou Morris is getting the chance to kill off some penalties this year. We drafted him for a grinder. I want this guy to be a first-line penalty killer for the next 20 years on this team. You know what I mean? So his defensive awareness is at 84. Stick checking, 85. Shot blocking is still a little low, but he's a good body checker. Um, I wouldn't say he's the greatest penalty killer yet, but I want him to have ice time this year. He's only getting the fourth line minutes, so if I give him some penalty kill time as well, that's more minutes than he had last year. Uh, Three-man penalty kill looks like that. All right. Four on four lines. Again, Barzell Petrie. We're giving Barzell and Petrie the main chance. Extra attacker, Barzell and Kopitar. And goaltenders, Hope and Langhammer. All right. Now, before we get the simulation going, there was... Um, Oh, hang on a second here. The NHL team, right? Yeah, our depth players, if it when injuries happen, we have uh, Gattenby. He's an 81 defenseman, all right, three-star potential. And McMillan, he's coming back as our center. So I need to get another, uh, another winger for the team with injuries because I don't want to call anybody up from the AHL because I actually have to sign some people for the AHL squad. If you look at our team right now, you know, you have uh, Korosteloff and Richard who are not bad for the first line, but every one other than that, you know, like low 60s or high 60s, low 70s, I want my AHL team to have a good year because we actually have a lot of defensemen playing in the AHL, and that's going to be the turnover. We're going to have a turnover of defensemen in the next few years. So a guy like Rupert, DeVries, Forbert, and not Forbert, sorry, Rupert, DeVries, and Gordon, I want these guys to have good years because you look at Rupert, right? Uh, Right-handed, four-and-a-half-star potential defenseman. This guy, you know, potential top six, maybe a top four defenseman for us in the future. Doug DeVries. 22 years old, four star. I'm really hoping that this guy can turn out to be a top four defenseman for us. And same thing with Gordon, same thing as the first guy, Rupert. Defensive defenseman, four and a half red star. Hoping a top six, but maybe a top four out of these two guys, all right? So we have three defensemen that we want to have good years this year. So I was thinking about going out and getting a, uh, a legitimate goaltender and some AHL players and an injury player for the NHL squad, all right? So a few players I want to sign here first, free agency. Let's just go here. Uh, unrestricted free agents. Whoa, what the hell? Darnell Nurse is... He, you know, he's not getting any any better. He's capped off at 81 overall. Oh, man, Edmonton doesn't want to pay him. He's not an unrestricted free agent, though, so I can't get him. He's restricted. Uh, all right, so I need a left winger, sniper. Oh, I already have enough snipers on the team. Give me, like, a guy with a decent uh, defensive awareness or defensive category, whatever you want to call it. There you go. Turnbull. Uh, he's a playmaker, you know, hang on, forwards, there you go, Turnbull, Soderberg, go back with Soderberg, Carlson, yeah, you know what, Eric Carlson, playmaker, and it's another playmaker, two-way forward, there we go, yeah, I've got a German here, yeah, there you go, I'll grab, I'll grab this guy for injuries, just in case they happen on the team, which they will, 
Uh, years. Can I not give him a one-year deal? What the hell? Man, maybe it's like a rookie deal. Yeah, that's like a messed up player right there. All right, never mind. We'll go off. Joel Wiggle. Oh, there you go. That's even better. Two-way two -way forward. Defense is up there. Body checking is a little bit up there. He's got a shot blocking category. Yeah, we'll get this guy Wiggle. And he's uh, he's a winger. All right, so two-way deal. Yep. Uh, I'll just give you the max. Oh, no, no, no. That's enough. Yeah, two-way. All right, very good. Now, goaltenders. Let's find a goalie for the AHL. Clinton Claxon. Oh, God, look at this guy. Four and a half star potential. I don't really want to sign a guy like that, though, because... Nah, nah. Some guy, he probably drafted... Yeah, Vancouver drafted him top ten. That's just too easy of a goaltender to go after. So I'm not going to go after this guy. I'll go after this guy, Taron Kozen. I just want a guy to play goaltender for our squad. Years. Oh, he's a, he's a rookie. Hang on. Let me see. Yeah, that's not bad. That's even better. Yeah, Olmark is even better. The reflexes category is what I want. There you go. Yeah, that's good for me. So there's our goaltender, defenseman. Is there any good defenseman that we could pick up? Uh, I already had... No, nah, you know what? I already had enough defensemen. Let's get some more forwards for the team. Let's get a sniper. This guy was a sniper, right? Yes, he was. All right, so I'll pick him up. Very nice. That'll help out. This guy was a playmaker. I'll pick him up as well. This could definitely help out our AHL squad. Just with uh, some top six players. Uh, this guy's a sniper as well. I'll grab him. All right. Yeah, fine. Whatever. I'll give you a rookie deal. Uh, and this guy is a power forward. I'll grab him as well. 85 for offensive awareness. There you go. Whatever. All right. The reason I want to do that is just because I want to make my AHL squad just a tad better, as I said before. All right. So we'll go up here, get these guys signed, get them on the team. Then we can start the year eight simulation. I want to go... I mean, I'm thinking that the team should be okay, right? I mean, the team that's out there right now basically won us a Stanley Cup. So there should be no... No um, chance that we're going to miss the playoffs. I mean, hopefully I haven't jinxed myself with that kind of statement, right? But you guys, you've seen the roster. I mean, we got a, we got a stacked top six. We should be able to score plenty of goals with that. Um, all right, so let me get my team ready to go here. I'm just trying to think. Is there anything else I need to do? No, I think we're good. I did a few things before I started the recording. So, yeah, I think we're good to start the simulation here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we got the seven. And then the forwards here, Morris, you're going to have to bring up, who was it? It was Wiggle, right? Yeah, the two-way forward. Yeah, so we'll bring up Wiggle. All right, there you go. So we have all the injury players on our NHL squad now. Portland, we're going to go best lines again. All right, make sure everybody good is playing, all the potential players. So Little is not playing. He's our big-time uh, draft pick that we just had. When did we draft him again? It was fourth overall, right? So Travis Little's definitely got to get some ice time here. Uh, yeah, he's getting first line ice time. Don't worry. Uh, da -da -da, Dalman, Walker, oh, Selleck. I'll get the Selleck guy off here. There you go. Yeah, he's two-star. Uh, Little, there you go. So replace Stelic. Scratch you. All right, now let's get Little up on that first line with Kostitsin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to get these snipers to play alongside of these guys. There you go. Now we got a pretty good, uh, let me get this guy in the center. It doesn't matter. All right, now we got some high 70, low 80 overall players on the offense. Defense, Rupert DeVries, Gordon. Looks all good still. Power play, I want to get Little in here. Hang on. Little, uh, Little. Where are you? There you go. Little's on there. Uh, get him on the second line power play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still only 71 overall. I don't want to don't wanna overplay him. All right, penalty kill. I'll keep him off the penalty kill. All right, and goaltender. Whoops, goaltender. Yeah, Olmark, is he in the net? Yes, he is. Good and strong. So we have an 81 overall goaltender now. Hopefully that will help out with the plus minus for our defenseman that we are looking to grow. All right? So let me just... Oh, fuck. I think... I got everyone, right? <laughs> I'm doubting myself now. This guy, Bullockoff. When did I draft him? He's three and a half star, two way forward. Second round. I gotta play him. Yeah, I gotta play him. Gotta find a place for him. Uh this guy, Karan and Karan and uh where is he? Karan and is he a center? Was he a there? Yeah, he's a center. He can be replaced. Alright, uh Bullockoff. There you go. And Karan and you can scratch. Alright, so Bullockoff is now playing. Very nice. So we're good to go. We've taken our time here. We've edited the lines. We have picked up the extra players. I've already sent the scout out, I believe. We're just going to go anywhere. I'll send them out again just to be sure. Yeah, five weeks of the WHL, right? So we'll just continue that. All right. And I've already edited my trading block. So, yeah, we're good to go. So let's get up here into the regular season. Hopefully we don't have any injuries to deal with. 
Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You're expecting me to make the playoffs. I'm going to make the playoffs. Don't you worry. So, uh, you know what? I want to make sure I don't lose any of that. So, hang on one second. All right. So, here we go. The beginning of year number eight, October 2021. Holy crap. The years are flying by. All right. First game of the season against the LA Kings. So, let's go one month here and see what happens. And while we're doing the simulation, I'll actually go through some of the comments and some of the fan art from you guys. All right. I'll give you guys my answers. So, the first one. If anyone says or anyone say to trade Yandel, shut the fuck up. <laughs> He's been here since the beginning. He's been your captain since you traded Doan. He belongs here and he retires here. He's the type of guy that gets his number retired for your team. I couldn't agree more. I absolutely, completely, 100% agree with that comment. I mean, Keith Yandel, he will now always be remembered as the captain that took the Arizona Coyotes to the Stanley Cup. Their first franchise Stanley Cup victory, right? So... I know it kind of sucks because on paper, you look at him and you know he's getting older. You know he's getting a little bit worse, but you still have to go with him. You have to now give the respect to the fans who love him and the player who got you that Stanley Cup. All right, and oh my God, bruised ribs or bruised hand for Matthew Barzell, October 27th. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replace player right now because it's only like going to be like two games. I know we're going to have like a, a shitty player on the first line, but you know what? I don't want to have to do all those line changes again. There we go. We got an overtime loss without Matthew Barzell. If it's more than like three games, I'll, I'll change it. But you know what? Let me just, uh, let me see. October 27th. He should be right back after this Detroit game. Come back a little bit early. Yeah, there you go. Matthew Barzell. So we had two games without Matthew Barzell. McMillan was our first liner. <laughs> All right, but I just didn't want to uh, I didn't want to switch around Kopitar and all that stuff. All right, so 3-2-1, and one, we're okay. So, yeah, I agree. Yandel's got to retire here. Absolutely, all right? Uh, scouting assignment. Send this guy back out to... We just did the WHL, so we'll do the OHL. We're not going to have a good draft pick this year, it looks like. All right, so... You know what? We'll go more than one month because, yeah, it's, it's too short right now, and I want to continue to read comments. All right, so the next comment... Trade Ryan Pilon and Jesse Mills. They have capped off. Um, you know what? I agree with that. They have capped off. It looks like they're going to be career top six defensemen. Maybe get high enough to become a top four, but they're certainly not going to become top two defensemen, right? And we drafted these guys both in the top ten. They both have four and a half star potential, so they probably have some trade value, right? But, you know, just because you draft a guy in the top ten and he doesn't turn out to be a top two defenseman or a top six forward doesn't mean he's a bust, I mean, to win a Stanley Cup, you need to have every position taken care of. And we've taken care of our two bottom six defensemen, all right, for the next 10 years. And they're drafted players. They helped win us the Stanley Cup. I agree it's kind of a letdown, but at least I don't have to worry about getting two defensemen to fill the top six positions, right? Now, I understand they have some trade value, but if we're winning games and if they're playing well in their positions as top six defensemen, they're still valuable assets in my opinion, all right? Yes, I agree that they're letdowns, but if we're winning games, I have no um, I have no uh, plan to trade away uh, Ryan Pilon or Jesse Mills, but that is an interesting uh, comment there. Now, hang on a second here. We have another injury. Ooh, and this is a big one. Brandon Hope's been injured with a swollen knee. His estimated return is December 3rd, 2021. We're in November 7th right now, all right? So this is a big injury. This is a big injury. Brandon Hope. All right, so Langhammer, we're going to need you now, son. Uh, Landry, Olmark, I'll bring up uh, Landry. There you go. All right, so Brandon Hope has received his first major injury of his NHL career. He's out for a month, but we got Langhammer, 83, all right? And our high-scoring offense should be able to help out that backup goaltender. 8-4-1, and one, we're looking pretty good. Brandon Hope's going to be out for four weeks. Ooh, that hurts. All right, so the last comment. Johnny, who do you have to replace Yandel on that second line D? It looks like Yandel is going to regress into a top six defenseman and play on the third line. Is Mills or Pilon ready to play on that second line? Or are you going to trade for someone else who is? That's a great question. That's a question for next year, though, because... Because we won the Stanley Cup, you need to just let Yandel play there, all right? I know even if he does regress into a top six defenseman, then we have three top six defensemen in Pilon, Jesse Mills, and Yandel. You still have to go with it because he's earned the right to play there, all right? You look at certain teams who have won the Stanley Cups in the past and like, uh, say, a team like Detroit, right? Just because they win a Stanley Cup and they have older players that they drafted, they're not going to trade them away, right? They ride them out until they retire there. 
I, I kind of feel the exact same way about uh, our defensive core. It's going to be weak for the next little bit, but I'm hoping guys like the three players that you saw in the AHL, hopefully they can come up and I'm hoping for at least one top four player out of those two guys because I think Ekman, Larson, and Barry are fine as our top two defensemen right now. And they're only both, they're both only like 30 years old. So you got another two years with them for sure. All right. And in those two years, I'm looking for Rupert, DeVry, or Gordon, I think his name was, to become top four or top six defensemen. If I can get one of them to be a top four defenseman, then you have Zadaroff and then that guy. And then you have Ryan Pilon, Jesse Mills, uh, and then the two other guys. You have four top six defensemen that you can then package in a deal. But that doesn't happen this year. That happens when we know what we have. We know that Jesse Mills and Ryan Pilon at best would become top four defensemen, but I don't know what those three guys in the AHL are going to become. I, I could see one of those four and a half red star potential guys becoming like 87 or 88 overall. It, I've seen it before. All right, so this year is just about playing the team that won us the Stanley Cup last year, but that is a good question. Uh, Matthew Barzell, second injury. What the hell? Estimated return is December 3rd. McMillan, first line time, baby. <laughs> McMillan's going to get some more first line time. Uh, Brendan Hope's available to play in the next game. Good. So the injury bug has hit us, but uh, we're still winning some games. We have a deep team now. All right, Landry, there you go. Hope, switch him around. Very nice. McMillan will play for these two games. It's Edmonton and Calgary. All right, lost to Edmonton. Lost to Calgary probably with McMillan on the first line. Yeah, no, but we won. Never mind. All right, let's go another day. All right, so we're done that one month. Is Barzell? Yes, Barzell's back, so I want to get Barzell back on here. All right, so I think i got to send the goalie right back down. Yes, Landry, you got to go back down. That'll free up the space. Barzell replace McMillan. All right. McMillan. Let's see what kind of stats McMillan has this year. <laughs> Is it a good idea to put him in there? Oh, he's a plus player. He's two points in four games played. <laughs> nah, we're fine. We're fine. All right, so there you go. And also, I'll just quickly show you the uh, the fan art that we have for this time. This first one, we have hope. That's a real nice one now. He's a legitimate goaltender for the Arizona Coyotes. That's a nice, like, faded logo in the background as well. I like that. And the second one, another one, we have hope for another cup. <laughs> I love the spelling for these fan arts. It's great for another cup. All right. we I do have hope for another cup. Absolutely. All right. We have hope, baby. All right. So, we're done with the fan art. We're done with the comments. Now, we're one month in, 12, 8, and 5 for the Arizona Coyotes. A little bit uh, low. But, again, I'm not looking to win the President's Trophy this year. All right. I do feel like our team is slightly worse than last year. Some players are better. But the key players like uh, Yandel and Corey Perry, even Kopitar, might be getting a little bit worse. Fine. All right. Uh, we also had a month without uh, our goaltender there. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Brendan Hope. So I, I don't care really about making the... It'd be nice to win the President's Trophy again. It's not the end of the world. I just want to have a Stanley Cup run again. All right. So goals four per game. We're above three per game. So we're scoring 3.83 for Tampa Bay. Holy crap. Druin and uh, Stamkos are tearing it up probably. They'll come back down to earth though for sure. Goals against per game. Uh, 21st in the NHL, we are allowing a lot of goals, but we figured that with our goaltender being injured and just the way our team is set up right now, uh, we're definitely an offensive team. Uh, power play percentage, third in the NHL, so our power play with Yakupov on the point doesn't seem to be hurting us, so that's good. Uh, penalty kill percentage, worse than the NHL, holy crap, so we gotta work on our penalty killing percentage. That could, yeah, 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 alright, alright, I'll look at that. But maybe that's the only way that teams could score on us, who knows. Shorthanded goals four, home record three, four, and three, away record nine, four, and two, and our last ten, three, four, and three. Alright, so not looking the greatest, but again, it's early. We won the Stanley Cup, so now we got that Stanley Cup rust where we were like, ah, oh, we don't have to try until January. We'll turn it on, we'll get ready, and then we'll win the Stanley Cup, just like the LA Kings. <laughs> all right, so don't worry about it. No trades are happening, uh, even if the points are a little bit all over the place. Kopitar, 29 points, so Kopitar on the second line, still getting it done. Corey Perry, 12 goals in 25 games played, so he's on pace for like a 40-goal season. All right, remember, these are second-line numbers right here. Nail Yakupov, 19. Tyler Toffoli, 18. Barzell's got only 10 points, but he has been injured. But 21 games played for only 10 points. Maybe that second line has taken all the points from him. Bo Horvat has the same amount of points as Matthew Barzell. Very interesting. Petrie's got uh, nine goals, though, and he's playing with Barzell, so I don't know what to make of that. All right, down here. Lou Morris, he's got five points already, so Lou Morris is having a good year. Um, defenseman. All right, Keith Yandel, Captain Yandel. He's dropping off, but he's still leading our team in points, or defenseman in points. 20 points, all right. Barry, 20. Ekman Larson, 14. Pilon and Mills, 8 and 3. Are they plus that? They're even players. All right, Mills is a plus 4. That's good. And goaltenders. 
Hope and Langhammer. Yeah, that was the uh, Langhammer playing 13 games already in the season for us at a 2.96 goals against 2.5 and 2. Save percentage of 89.67. Yeah, I mean, it's a clear difference when Langhammer's in the net compared to Brandon Hope, who's got a save percentage of 91.19 and uh, a record of 9-2-0. and 0, All right, it's 2.63. So... Don't worry about the season so far. I think it's because of the injury, but everyone's back now. We're a completely healthy team, all right? And I want to know, what do you think needs to change? In the next video, we're going to go all the way up to the trade deadline, so I think I'll ride it out. We'll take it there. But uh, I think we should just go with this team. We faced the adversity last year in the playoffs with these guys. They were able to fight through it. I think we should just go with the roster, maybe change the penalty here. You know what? I'll show you that quickly. You know, Because that was the one stat that we could change, actually. The penalty kill stat. All right, so penalty kill. That's what I have for the penalty kill. What do you guys think about it? Now, I could put I could put Ekman, Larson, and Yandel on the penalty kill because they have better overall numbers. But I wanted to give these guys a little bit more ice time, but maybe they're not ready for the penalty kill just yet. I think Jesse Mills, Mills is ready for the penalty kill, but Ryan Pilon with that 81 defensive awareness, it might be better served to have uh, Yandel out there or Ekman Larson, right? And also, Pierlini and Lou Moore and Zach Smith and Horvat, we could always throw Anze Kopitar in there and that will drastically help the penalty kill, right? I could also uh, throw Kopitar out here and also Ekman Larson right there, all right? So let me know what you guys think about the roster, line changes, the future, and what we should be looking at for this year. Any trades, all right? I think we should run with the team, come to trade deadline, take a look, reassess, all right? But I don't think any major trade should happen unless they're draft pick trades, you know, or trading for a first-round pick with non-roster players, picking up free agents, picking up depth players. Go nuts in the comments, and the next video, year eight, will take a up to the deadline.